How do you get an official This Is playlist on Spotify? We're gonna talk about it in today's video. What's up guys, this is Omari with No Nonsense Music Marketing, the number one place for music business and industry advice online. If you're not subscribed already, which most of you watching these videos are not subscribed, click that subscribe button. It really helps us out with the algorithm and also smash that like button if this content is useful today. So we haven't talked about this before. Uh, many people don't talk about this, but how do you get one of those official this is playlists on Spotify? And call it this is, uh, it's essentially a greatest hits playlist. I don't know exactly why they decided to call it this is, uh, but it's there. It's an artist's greatest hits playlist that's auto-generated from Spotify. These are not Spotify going in and curating thousands of different artists. Uh, this is playlists. It is just their greatest hits um, that, that they have on Spotify. So how do you get one of these? Well, the first thing uh, that we typically see is that that artist has at least 50 songs out. Now, if you're a larger artist, um, you might be able to get away with uh, having less than that. But typically, you need at least 50 songs, and that's going to make up your This Is playlist. However, you can speed up that process a little bit by feeding, you know, good, good, like I said, giving more to the Spotify algorithm that shows that people do like your music and they would really like to follow your greatest hits playlist. So if you if you're just crushing it and you don't have 50 songs, sometimes, you know, you can hasten the process for that, especially if you have an, an in uh, or, or a contact at Spotify, they might hook that up for you. But um, the, the tips that we're going to give is not dependent on, on any context. So firstly, what you want to do, uh, to really get more songs out is obviously produce more songs. If you are somebody that's just going to the studio and recording all your music, then you, th these days, there's really no reason outside of maybe if your house really does not have any good area for you to record. But for a lot of people, you do have a decent area in your house that you can record music. Um, it, we've done videos, we have articles on our website of how to set up a home studio for under a thousand bucks, even under 800 bucks. You can get a pretty quality sounding home studio. You can outsource your mixing and mastering. If that's not something that you want to learn, you can outsource that online. We have mixing and mastering services at omarmc.com uh, that are very affordable. But even then, you can look check out some of our other articles that go through all the different people who do mixing and mastering online and get these very affordable services to push out your music. Now, obviously, it's the most cost efficient when you know how to do that yourself. However, uh, you might try that out and maybe you're just not the greatest at it and you want to still have a quality sound or a same standard uh, for your music. So you can feel free to work out long term deals with other engineers uh, or studio owners or something of that sort so that you can push out music because you really need to be pushing it out, as we say often, at least once a month. Uh, think about that. If you need to push out 50 songs, uh, if you do it once a month, it's going to take you still four years. So. Ideally, if you're knocking out a song every two weeks, like if you're really treating this like your job, then that is how you're going to be able to push out more songs and get more streams so that you can get your official greatest hits playlist. Now, uh, there are some people who I've seen some artists do this that you can just create one yourself. You can just title it, you know, this is and try to make a similar cover artwork. Uh, but if you want the official one that you don't have to upkeep, because uh, eventually, if you're knocking out a lot of songs, you're going to have to upkeep that, uh, which is you want as many things on automation as possible whenever you're running a larger operation. Meaning if you have 100 songs out there, you don't want to be sorting through your playlist. And like if it's all 100 of your songs, you don't want to be sorting through and like having to move this song here, move that song there. Just just have it on automation. So that is why you want the official one from spotify but there's no there's no shame in doing that initially uh if you don't have a generated one from spotify so the next thing you want to do is to, to come up with more quality music you also want to feed that spotify algorithm so we have Plenty of videos on our page talking about Discover Weekly Radio, uh, Release Radar Playlist. But one of the ways that you can start to get a more Discover Weekly and Radio Playlist and even Release Radar is to start to collaborate with more artists. Uh, so you can do cover songs. It's kind of like a forced collaboration almost. Uh, but also you can reach out to artists who are 
at your similar stage. So if you like another artist's music and you guys have similar monthly listener counts and you would sound good together and you do have a home studio set up, it's or you even live close to each other. That's the best possible option so that you're both using the same mic and you know you have that that standard. But these days you can definitely collaborate with people online, reach out to them, DM them, just show them that you appreciate their work. And obviously you guys collaborating can help build each other's audience, get those same people who like that style of music to follow you on social media and Spotify. And that way you'll start to end up in more of their um, the similar artist section on Spotify. So the way you get into more radio algorithm, uh, algorithm radio playlists is that you have similar artists that you start to pop up in there. You know, fans also like section. Uh, and obviously, if you do a collaboration with them, then you're more likely to pop up in that section. So that's another way to start piggybacking on uh, your peers success and collaborating with other people. Now, additionally, uh, these are, some of these are free ways. Some of these are paid ways. You always want to have a mix of both. So you do want to have a promotion budget in order to push your music. Now, obviously we have Spotify promotion options. We have YouTube promotion options, uh, TikTok, Instagram ads. We are a full service music agency. So you can check out our solutions at omarmc.com or click on one of the links in this video or in our bio, wherever you're watching this and have both paid options for a promotion. This is what real businesses do. You have paid media and you have some ways that you're trying to get free traffic. You want to do both. Now, if you're somebody who legitimately has zero budget, uh, you have to spend your time, which is a form of money. You have to spend more of your time doing this, but most artists do have some sort of budget. It's either just, just they don't fully believe in themselves or they're just being cheap. So if you, like, if you legit don't have a hundred bucks a month, or hundred bucks every two months to spend on some sort of promotion for your music um, or production of your music or something of that sort, then it's just a hobby to you. So either have that budget to go towards pushing the music or set aside that time. You really do both to push the music as well. Uh, and these are both strategies. Any business in the world is going to be doing both of these strategies. Most of them, you know, 90 some plus percent because that is how you have to run your business. Uh, now, additionally, if you want to um, do some of the free methods, then check out some of our other videos on how to really get into the Spotify algorithm or how to trick you know, social media algorithms into pushing your song more. But the, the main difference is paid is going to be like at the, you don't have to wait for the algorithm to pick you up you just pay to push it out versus if you're trying out a lot of free content, it's kind of a, you're swinging for the fences and maybe it works, maybe it doesn't. It's, it's higher risk. They both have their own amount of risk. Obviously you're risking money if you have a paid budget, but for the free one, you're also risking your time that you may create a bunch of videos and none of them really catch on. So you just, you're spinning a hamster wheel. Uh, but additionally, um, as far as getting into the uh, getting into more people's playlists, you can also make a collaborative playlist on Spotify. So, just like collaborating with other artists to make a song, if you all want to collaborate and make playlists together, or you make your own playlist and then some of the other artists who you know make similar music to you have some of their own playlists. They may not be as big, uh, but if they're of similar size then you can trade on playlist placements as well. You don't want to overdo it and ask them to put like 12 of your songs in, into one playlist. But if you have you know a few songs here, keep a spreadsheet of everybody who has similar size playlists that you do. And this method works best with people who actively put out music because if you're just contacting a playlister, uh, like a tastemaker and, or a business, they, if it's a tastemaker, they may just have like one channel and that's their playlist. If it's a business such as ours or, you know, any other company, we're dealing with a bunch of playlists uh, and that's, that's our company. So you either have to have equal value to trade or you have to have a budget to work with, you know, our time and efforts of, um, of promoting artists. So with all that being said, 
Uh, those are the tips on how to get uh, t- getting the this is playlist is you know pretty pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Uh, however, all those other promotion tips to hasten that process to get get more data going into your music, uh, which is really just the plays, the streams, the saves uh, that are going into the music, the playlist ads, all that does help out with it. All right, so try out these tips. Let us know uh, if you want us to address anything else. If you thought any of this wasn't clear, let us know in the comments. If any of you have a This Is playlist, uh, let us know how that's going. Uh, For a lot of artists, once they get to a a certain stage, like that's one of their biggest playlists that they have on Spotify. So it's a playlist just curated to your music. It's your greatest hits radio. uh, And it's it's a great place to really appear more official to your audience. So with that being said, we'll catch you all in the next video.